Uh, the title of this film is pretty misleading. I'm about to dog this one out. Let's talk about it. Initiation, directed by John Berardo, and the story goes like this. During a university's pledge week, the carefree partying turns deadly serious when a star athlete is found impaled in his dorm. The murder ignites a spree of sinister social media messages, sweeping the students and police into a race against time to uncover the truth behind the school's dark secrets and the horrifying meaning of recurring symbol, a single exclamation mark. Ugh. Full spoilers ahead. Be ready. Here's the story of life in college. Parties, games, drinking, texting, initiations, all that jazz. And sometimes people get too drunk or drugged. Bad things happen. But they can't remember exactly what happened. But they know it's bad. And that's exactly what happens at this party. A girl possibly drugged is in a room with three dudes while she lay knocked out on the bed with the door locked. Her friends get, get her back to her dorm and the next morning, she starts to have flashes of what happened, flashbacks, excuse me. She freaks out, but tells her friends not to say anything to anyone. But later on in the story, the very guys who were in that room start dying off. And hey, the killer just happened to be wearing a mask. So now this went from being about sorority initiations and all that into a murder movie. Can you say scream the college days? So during the investigations, this certain cop always seems to be around at the perfect time. Just keep showing up like, hey, I'm here guys, but I am not the killer because I am the cop in the movie, but I am not making it fairly obvious that I am the killer because I am not the killer. Fast forward to the end, when they amass the murderer, guess who it is? The cop. Plus he, plus he was the father of the girl who was drugged that night. He took it upon himself to get justice for his daughter himself. This movie sucked. It didn't know what it wanted to be. It's called Initiation, so I was expecting like parties galore, hazing, all that kind of crazy dumb shit, and possibly like, a, I guess like a hazing gone wrong. <sighs> movie tried that for the first few minutes, but then it went like 180 and turned into a shitty scream, a scream ripoff. You don't care for any of the characters, shitty storytelling, no attachments to anybody. They tried to make it seem like this was like the odd nerdy guy who was killing everyone, but it was just fairly obvious that it wasn't. I literally fell asleep on this shit, and I was mad because I had to rewind back to see what I missed just so I could do this review. Oh my god. I wanted to- I actually, I wanted to be the killer watching this shit. I mean, ugh, I'm, I'm just done, dude. This movie gets the first ever one finger, the middle finger for wasting my time, anyone else's time who had to watch this piece of junk. I had nothing to do with the making of this film, but I apologize on behalf of the filmmakers if you had to waste your money watching this shit. Lord help us all. But if you feel the need to watch it, it's available on YouTube. Uh, if you do, uh, let me know if you plan on watching this abomination in the comments below. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, give me a like. And if you really liked it, subscribe. Thanks for taking the time to watch my video. Take care. I'll see you soon. Would you steal a car? No. Would you steal a computer? No. Would you steal a purse? No. Would you steal a TV? No. Have you subscribed to the Don't Split Up channel yet? No. Viewing without subscribing is a dick move. Don't be a dick. Subscribe. Click and subscribe. It's free.